I've had honey many times. I've had honey from a honey box. I've had honey from a tree, but this is the hardest I've seen anybody ever work for dessert. Not just dessert, a dessert that gives you a little bit extra, a little bit of a buzz. Nepal. Our journey begins in the frenetic capital, Kathmandu. Once here, making your way through the city's enigmatic enclaves will convince you you've walked back in time. Endless temples, ancient traditions, religious relics. At every turn, you're reminded of an ancient time that's still clinging to life. Most who come here are drawn to the Himalayas, hoping these mountains done? will heal their soul. Me, I came here for the food. This is what brings all the dish together right here. The raw blood, it's kind of combining all the flavors. It's the glue, it's the bonding agent, it's the alcohol at the party. Oh, is that one for me? All right. Thank you. <laughs> Nepal is a country of about 30 million. This narrow nation is jammed between two superpowers, with India to the south and Tibet to the north. Nepali people, who do they like more, China or India? It's like asking if you like your mommy or your daddy. Oh, <laughs> wow. Its cuisine is a reflection of influences from both. This is Tibetan Nepali fusion. From their national dish, dal bhat, eaten nearly daily and always by hand. Oh, oh my god, this is the biggest bite I've ever seen in my life. To the country's iconic momo. It has been inspired from Tibet, but it is a Nepali version of dumplings. Filled with chicken, or even better, buffalo. What do you think? <laughs> it's perfect. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Nepali cultures, people, and food are as diverse as its geography. From the lowlands, to the hills, to the Himalayas. And I'm here to see it all. I slept in this jacket last night. How cold can it get? It could go around maybe minus 14. Which in Fahrenheit yes. is really cold. Like the Musahar, low ranking in their slowly fading caste system. Do the feelings from the old caste system still exist now? Their name means rat eaters. And soon, you'll find out why. I am buying this community a pig so I can see how they prepare it. But they're also going to be providing me with one of their local delicacies, rat curry. There are the Nuar people who worship at the red dyed feet of young girls. We need to put some money when we get the tikka. Is Vietnamese okay? Uh, and who possess a culinary identity completely separate from mainstream Nepal. Most of the dishes in Newari, you always add up hot oil. It is considered that nobody touches it. Now it's ready to eat. That's the biggest plate of steak tartare I've ever seen in my life. They don't have shoes on. They don't wear gloves. They have just normal clothes. Some of them have coveralls on. Of course, they wear the bee hat, but that's it. The Gurung people, hill tribes who risk their lives collecting a rare hallucinogenic honey that could get you high or much, much worse. How old were you when you first tried the mad honey? When he was like 25 years old. Now, how did it make you feel? I'm fell down. You, oh. Yeah. <laughs> you fell down? Yeah. You couldn't walk? Yeah. For how long? Maybe 24 hours. Oh, <laughs> High in the mountains, at over 10,000 feet of elevation, you'll find Pisong Village, where a fresh kill quickly becomes a steaming drink. They can get access to different medical hops that can benefit you, like it increases your immune system. Okay, what about erectile dysfunction? Not that I need that. And where villagers turn deep red yak meat into five-star food. Oh, that is beautiful. That's a long sausage. Like a snake. <laughs> In this series, I'm on a mission to experience the widespread wonder that is Nepal. It's like a ritual or a prayer that they have to do before they slaughter the animal. Now that it's finished, we can have a sip and the slaughter can begin. From its bustling capital. How do you even eat this? This is awesome. Should we go for it? Yeah. All right. To its towering mountain tops. This is really hard. You could beat your husband <laughs> with this. Maybe not. In the end, I may not find myself, but I will find some damn good food. And you're going to see it all in 24 hours. How do I recover from this?